The entrance of that word, it giveth light and it giveth understanding unto the simple. And I welcome to your favorite program in this presence, a program that talks about the word of God and how we can apply the word of God into our life so we can be a transformed, changed person from the old ways of life into the newness of life in Christ Jesus. Till we all come in the unity of faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of stature of fullness of Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall all rejoice and be glad in it. And it's of the mercies of the Lord that the Lord has kept you and myself to see another brand new day. We need to give all the praises, all the honor, all the adoration back unto him because he deserves our praise. The Bible in Psalm 16 verse 11 says, Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. And it's right and thy pleasures forevermore. I'm your host for today. I'm Ake Kunle Akela. And the topic I have before you on this glorious day is understanding times and seasons. I will joined by Pastor Emmanuel Uropaga. That's the pastor in charge of province, Enugu province 2 in Nigeria. He's here to discuss with us on this day. That it is a great privilege for us to have you to come and discuss with us on this day. Thank you and uh, God bless you. Amen. Very, very grateful to be here in South Africa today. I want to also use this medium to thank God for the opportunity to be here in South Africa and in this studio of uh, ROTM. I want to also use this medium to appreciate our daddy in the Lord and congratulate him, our mommy, on the occasion of the 60 seventh annual convention of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, which is starting today at the redemption camp. And the thing is, and God said, you know, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1, the Bible says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the head. Verse 2, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And God said, that was the very first word that came out of the mouth of God on the day when the creation was beginning. And God said, let there be light. You know, light is life. May I pray that light comes into every dead marriage, business, project, career, ministries, relationship in the name of Jesus. Also, light exposes darkness. That is, I also pray that everyone that is hiding in darkness to destroy you, harm you, attack you, may be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus. When God says, it is already done. It is decreed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. And we want to thank God for what God has actually started with this church and how he's taking the church because this is the 67th annual convention of the church, which is, and God said, we thank God for what God is actually doing. Before we actually go into our topic for today, which is understanding times yes. and seasons. Yes. So I want to get to know more about you. Let's talk about your salvation experience. I got saved in... 1981, precisely December 24th, 1981. And um, to cut long story short, he was one of our uh, townsmen. He was attending, we attended all attending Seraphine Church. When he got to Lagos and he was attending uh, Deeper Life Bible Church at that time, and they were up, uh, having the program at the Redeemed Headquarters. And he said one day, he just went down to go and ease himself and saw Redeemed Bible College. And so he enrolled. And then after enrolling, he came back Christmas time to tell us that uh, he has found salvation. He invited some of us to Lagos for the Deeper Life uh, Convention in 1980. In 1980, some of us went. I didn't go. I was in school. Second school at that time, holiday time. And uh, by 1981 December, he, has, he holds meetings in the town and gave a life to Christ December 24th. 
and uh, we joined the church. By 1982, we were all full members of the Leading Christian Church of God in our village in uh, former Bender State. Mm -hmm. And I want to say that uh, the church presently in Edo, in Edo, apart from the one at Okwaye, there was no church at that time in Benin City. We, from the village, we will come, we came to open the present church that we have in Benin City from my village in Jamangi, which is about, uh, if the road is fine, about uh, one hour, one and a half hour drive from Benin City. And do you know, at that time, in that 1982-1983, when the church started in Benin City, and when they went to old crusade or some other programs in Benin City, they do not have amplifiers and microphone. They will come to the village and then borrow our equipment to go and old program in Benin after they bring them back. One experience that we had is when they borrowed the equipment to Benin, one day, thieves came to borrow all the equipment. And they were all praying, and do you know that the thieves that stole our equipment brought the equipment back? That's the power of God. That's what God can do. Mm. Amen. The Bible in 2 Corinthians 5, 7 says, is therefore if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are becoming. <laughs> so in your own experience, you now notice a, a difference from the old ways of life into the oh, newness so of life in Christ. You don't need to ask. It's very serious. It's very, very serious. I can tell you. Um, when I gave my life to Christ, I was having a girlfriend. And then uh, when I came back home, we were at that time at school in Delta State, though in Redeem, where there was no Redeem Fellowship, Campus Fellowship then, we were Scripture Union, mm -hmm. and then we were attending Deeper Life Bible Studies. And then one day, I can't forget when the Bible study leader, now pastor, preached on sanctification. And then I, after prayer, I saw myself on the floor praying. And when I finished, when I came back for Christmas, I, took, I went to tell that guy, call her. I didn't enter the house with her at the veranda. I said, today, I am no longer your boyfriend. I am no longer my girlfriend. She thought I was joking. Do, do you know the irony of it? That, that same girl was giving a marriage to my cousin who trained me. And do you know, it was that same girl that killed my cousin two weeks after I finished secondary school. Who knows if I had married her, whether I would still be alive or not. And that's why God knows our tomorrow. And sometimes when God is calling you to give your life to him, do not delay. Mm. When God is calling you to give your life to him. Do not delay because we don't see the things on the opposite yes. side. But God actually God sees. Knows. That's so powerful and so profound. Thank yes. you so much. And to our viewers out there, let's go on to our first music video. We'll be right back. Please stay with us. Wow, this is another season of celebration, appointment, and encounter. I'm so happy to announce to you the 67th annual convention of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. Team and God said. The Bible in Genesis chapter 1 from verse 1 to 3, the Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the heart, and the heart was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. Before God said, there was a move of a spirit. The spirit of God is the third person of the triune God, co-equal, co-eternal with the Father and the Son. After the move of the spirit, the Bible says, and God said. What has God said concerning you? Are you still waiting for the manifestation of his word? Whatever God says will come to pass. As he has said it so far, your obedience is complete. God will speak into your life this convention. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 55 verse 11, the Bible says, the word that went forth out of my mouth it shall not return to me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the things whereunto i sent it join us from monday the 5th to the 11th august 2019 and the venue is kilometer 46 lagos about the expressway ogun state nigeria ministering of course is our father in the lord pastor ea e. adeboya and other anointed ministers of god when god speaks it is done 
Come, let God speak into your situation, circumstances, and whatever God says will be done and it will be established. Make it a date and an appointment with the Almighty God so He can speak into your life. See you there. Your presence. That's where I belong. In your If we understand the times and season, we will be able to enjoy a good relationship with one another. Welcome back from that false music video. And if you're just joining us, you're tuning into in his presence on our topic today, understanding times and seasons. And we're joined by Pastor Emmanuel Yoro Paga. That's the pastor in charge of province, Enugu province too. So to go into our memory verse, our memory verse is taken from Genesis chapter 8 and verse 22. The Bible says, while the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest, and cold and eat, and summer and winter, and day and night shall not cease. What, what is this speaking to us? It is talking about the certainty of what God can do if we give our lives to Him and obey Him, obey His command. He said, while the earth remains, that is, as long as Christ has not come, seed time that is sowing and reaping. That sowing is a related term that is giving. You can not only money, you can give good advice, have good relationship with uh, people, helping other people, helping someone to achieve. And the result, that is the harvest, which is, you see, and seed time and harvest, that is the reward, will stand. You remember in Galatians chapter 6, verse 7, when God said, be not deceived, for God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man sows, shall he also reap. So when you sow, for example, I don't want to go too far. My coming to South Africa here, if I didn't have good relationship with my daddy, my AGO, I didn't plan it. He said, because when the visa came late for the time when you can see pastor, you must go to South Africa. And also, do you know, our daddy here, daddy Ibitayo, I have not worked with him, but for the few times that we met, I have a small good relationship, and that's why he accepted and came, and that the way they are taking care of it is, uh, it is wonderful. And so these are part of the while, while the earth remains, see time, that is, you give. If I was not having a good relationship with him, and then what I'm supposed to do, some not good relationship sometimes talking about when you're supposed to greet the person, when you're supposed to re respect the person you didn't greet, you would say, eh, I will not be around, I will not be around, so I, I don't think I will not be around, and I will not be able to come. Or even if I come, I will be spending my money in the hotels and some other things. So this is the certainty of life. Amen. So going into our Bible reading for today, which is taken from First Chronicles chapter 12, and I'm going to read it from verse 32 to verse 33. Yes. First Chronicles chapter 12, mm -hmm. from verse 32 to 33. Yes. The Bible says, And the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do, the heads of them were 200, and all their brethren were at their commandment. Of Zebulun, such as went forth for battle, experts in war, with all instruments of war, 50,000, which could keep rank. They were not of double heart. It says, and of the children of Issachar, the children of Issachar were known for their wisdom and understanding which were men that had understanding of time. When we talk about wisdom, wisdom is the right application of knowledge and experience. 
wisdom, the ability to know the right application of knowledge and experience. These children of Issachar, the Bible says, they were 200 men, and their brethren, that is the church under them, people under their leadership, understand and know and are taught in the right way the undiluted word of God and not private interpretation. And said so the people under their command, in verse 33, he said, I just go to that which were which could keep their rank. He said, they were not of double mind. They were not of double mind. Whether pain or tithes and offering or vows and first fruit is compulsory or not, it didn't bother them. They say, this is what God says and our leader says, and they keep it. And say, they keep their rank. Keep their rank means that is they were obedient to authority and are orderly in doing things. This is what our leader says. And as long as it doesn't contradict the word of God, they do it. They were not of double heart. As this day, we see people of double heart because sometimes we do not listen, sometimes we do not take to instruction, and then whether we are to be in the same place, whether we are to cover our head in the same place, whether we are to pay tithes and offering, and people have double These people of children in Issachar know they didn't have the double man because they, were, they sat on that leadership and they understood and they followed leadership because they were people of understanding. When somebody like uh, who understands mathematics teaches you, from the, even if you don't find the rudiment, he will find a way to put you through. But if somebody who didn't understand mathematics, he will just be reading and you can't understand. But these people, they were people of understanding and of wisdom. And so they passed that wisdom to the people, and the people were comfortable. Mm. Mm. That's so powerful and so profound. Thank you so much, Daddy. To so go into the hope and heavens, our Father in the Lord, Pastor E.E. E. Adegoye wrote, As children of the Most High, we need a good understanding of the times and seasons we live in as mm. an important part of enjoying our relationship with God mm. and to make us successful in our endeavors in this world. We must not ignore the Holy Spirit's teaching in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1, which says, To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. It is clear from this verse that our God is a God of plan and purpose, who in his infinite wisdom has predetermined the times and the seasons to activate his plans and fulfill his purpose. Today's memory verse is very insightful in this regard. It is amazing that the words God spoke to Noah so many years ago are still relevant to us in this generation. We understand from this verse that even though we should be even minded as this world is not our home, we must also be active and productive as long as we remain in this world, as profitable stewards of the resources of God's kingdom. We must prepare for every season and put in our, our very best to make the most of every opportunity God gives us. We must not occupy the back seat in the affairs of this world or accept servitude and poverty as our lot. We must refuse on favorable circumstances are rejected mediocrity disguised as spirituality i pray that the almighty god will give us perfect understanding of times and seasons he makes available to you in jesus name amen what's our father in the lord teaching us here number one we have talked about the understanding of times and understanding and then the adapting is time so you know time is difficult to understand but we must know that time is the relativity of the event and the importance of the event. For example, time is measured in second minutes, hour, days, weeks, months, and years. If I don't know, if I don't know as a person, Pastor Emma, God knows. And then very importantly, I will tell you something. My daddy in the Lord, daddy E. Adubi, God 
gave him wisdom to understand the times and seasons. I will tell you something. Before I came, I read in July 5th, 2019. The topic says, evading your responsibility. <laughs> you, you find out that today, I'm not going to talk about the country, but in Nigeria, in the church, in communities, is this not coming to life, in, especially in Nigeria, that most people, I don't want to talk about leadership in government, but it also includes the church and people, we are evading our responsibility. Daddy wrote this thing over a year ago, and today, this month, is becoming a reality. If you look at Wednesday, 3rd July, United will stand. Listen, my brother, that one, all this, this one I'm talking about, is still talking about this month of July, what is happening in our country, in our states, in our, in our environment, today, United will stand. When some things happen, and sometimes when we need to talk once, Bible says a short answer turneth away wrath. Mm -hmm. And so when something that we need to, okay, this thing, yes, I am at fault. Then people will uh, keep quiet. But many, many a times, people, we are not united. And even though the, in Nigeria, even though what you have done is right, you try to come in and make it good. At least talk, we, we see black and we say it is a, it is a, it's a white. And then you look at um, July 17, hearkening to the voice of wisdom. And, and all these things still talking about this moon. God knows and has put in the mind of our leader to put all these topics in this mode. Ladies and gentlemen, let us listen to the voice of reason. You look at uh, Monday 10th, June 2019, the Good followers make good leaders. Mm -hmm. And I saw that, but I just, I just picked this for, and all these things are just talking about today, sir. Mm -hmm. And so when we are talking about understanding our time, what daddy is saying, I said, if we understand the times and season, we will be able to enjoy a good relationship with one another. If the wife or the husband understands the, the wife or the wife understands the husband, then there will be no problem, there's a good relationship. And sometimes when, even when we know this is how to approach an e issue, and then we, we run away from, that's why we're having problems even in our country, in the church and places around us. I pray that God will help us in the name of Jesus. Now, let me also say something about the plan, purpose and program of God must come to pass as daddy put it. You know, let me tell you something. God knows. And sometimes when God is prompting you, either by somebody or friend or relationship that you do not listen to, you miss the way. Understanding time and season. I remember when I was living NC in 1990, a friend of mine was staying together. And uh, he said, because I didn't have at that time, I didn't have uh, mathematics at that time. He said, uh, Rupa, go and read a particular course. I was looking at this boy, saying, this boy is serious. What is wrong with this boy that is telling me I should go and read this girl? I want to read agricultural science. And I've got uh, NC agricultural science. And I, even when I go to university, I want to even go far in agricultural science. But do you know, when that boy said, 12 years later, what God spoke through that boy to me that I should go and read that particular course, after 12 years, that was the cause without no stress that I came to read in both in undergraduate and the master level. What somebody told me. If I had understood what he was saying, I wouldn't be running all about the bush before that time. If we understand the time. And that's why when God says in Ecclesiastes 3 1, say, to everything there is a season. God knows the time. He knows the season concerning our success and our prosperity. And as daddy said, he said, yes, it is good for us to say that um, be sober, be vigilant, because your advice is level, seek care, walk up and seek you may devour, and we pray and we fast. But then, 
we need also to work hard, be diligent, and not to be lazy. I remember Proverbs chapter 10, verse 4. Bible says, Bible says in that place, it, says, it became poor that dealt with a slack hand. I always tell my children, listen, when I have to go to the undergraduate class from uh, NC, you know your mother was going to school. The three of you were going to school. My aunt that was staying with you, she was going to school, and I was going to school. Did you hear me one day that I had carryover when I was going? I was going to university, do I'm a full time at that time, and all of you are going to private school. Sometimes I had a car, I have to leave the car, and sometimes to enter transport or to trade. Did you hear me? Because at that time, when I face something, I will face it squarely. Only church. I do not go sometimes, I do not go to any other place apart from church or any place very important or meeting. I was facing my study and I make sure that I finished. Even when I was in the NC, I would tell them, say, listen, I'm not going to have carryover. Yes, I'm not going to have carryover and I'll make sure that I face it. Do you remember when we were in year three, a particular lecturer of ours, he was teaching genetics in the class and he said, uh, we we're talking about evolution. I don't know how I just, excuse sir. Who created you? And the lecturer said, God. It was after he had said, God, the remember that is this boy that is asking me, say, Emmanuel, yeah, just get out of the class. That was two weeks to our exam. Say, you, must, you will not attend my class again. And then he drove me out. After one week, my classmate and the laboratory attendants, they spoke to me, begged him, and then I came back. Do you know, before God and man, I studied those two courses of his. And I can say here before God and man, one, the, um, I got A in one, the other one, I got B in one. Because what that lecturer said, I don't want to take excuses, and I read to the best of my ability, I got A and I got B in one. That's what Daddy Joe is talking. Yes, we must go to church, we must pray, we must uh, fast, but let us not be lazy. Let us do what we ought to do so that we will not blame ourselves. Mm, amen. So there is a prayer point here that you pray for our viewers. Our Father in the Lord said we should pray. Father, please awaken me to the opportunities you have set before me in this generation in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I want to thank you. I want to bless you. We exalt and magnify you for today. We ask of God that in the name that is above every other name, Father, bring the needed revival into the church, mm. into our lives, into our businesses, into our families, into our marriages, into our countries, into the church in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, Princess Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. For in Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Amen in Jesus, mighty name. Thank you so much. And to have you let's continue our prophetic declaration with our Father in the Lord, Pastor E. A. W. Please stay with us. We'll be right back. Your presence That's where I belong In your presence If we understand the times and seasons we will be able to enjoy a good relationship with one another. Thank you, Lord. Let things get better. From this moment onward, in our nation, let things get better. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. My Father, my God, we are your children. We have no other help but you. And we are saying tonight, Lord, we are in one accord as we say no more killing of innocent people yeah. 
Father, we say no more kidnapping. Father, your children are in one accord and say, please fight for us. Many of these perpetrators of evil, we don't even know where they are. But you can see them. You know their location. Set them on fire. So that they will repent. So that they will be saved. From now on, don't let them know any rest. And Father, we thank you for warning us in advance that things will get worse before they get better. But we, your children, are saying, Daddy, enough is enough. From now on, let things get better. We are crying to you by faith tonight to say, in this nation, there will no longer be fuel scarcity. No more hunger. No more pain. No more tragedies. We say, Lord, beginning from now, let things get better. Let them get better speedily. Let them get better continuously. Help us, O oh Lord, and take all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Welcome back from that prophecy declaration. I believe you've claimed every prophecy that has gone forth unto you. So before we let you go, finally on this episode, understanding times and seasons, what will be your final thoughts to our viewers? I will say that your ability to know depends on your understanding of the subject matter, which is understanding times, season that you have. Be wise. If you know your subject matter, the English man says, if you know your problem, your problem is half solved. Know the season, know the time you have, so that will be wise. Mm, amen. That's so powerful and so profound. Thank you so much that we will celebrate God in your life. And we are confident that either has begun a good work in you, perfect to be very and above all. Thank you for making time to be with us on this great day. And to our viewers out there, I believe you've learned so many things on our topic today, understanding times and seasons. We really want to appreciate you for the time you spent to watch this program, and I believe you've blessed in the mighty way. Perhaps you have any comments you want to leave to us, you can get social with us on Facebook, and I want to say keep watching RTM. God bless you.